Hello guys, welcome to my channel How to Learn. In this video, I want to explain you about how to resolve match conflicts in Spring Tools of Direct Loops. Currently, I am explaining the technique of uh, resolving match conflict in Spring Tools. It not mean you cannot resolve match conflict in Eclipse using the same way. Okay, the technique used to resolve match conflict are same in Spring Tools of Eclipse. Okay, so you can follow this video even if you are using Eclipse. Also. First of all, let's assume like I have created a repository in GitHub, okay, and uh, I am using that in local, okay. I got this code from test repo, which I have created in GitHub, okay, guys. And let's assume like for this repo, many people having access, okay. And some ex person is making changes to this code. Let's assume like that. The reason I am explaining this thing is first of all, you should know right how we get the uh, match complete. And let's assume some X person committing this code here. And and I don't have about like someone made changes to my code. And I also I am also making these changes to the same code without taking the pull. Okay. Now I am trying to add some changes and let's click uh, try to commit. Now we got some our commit is rejected, right? Now let's try to fix changes from GitHub, and we got some match conflict. Luckily, we have some match tool here. Okay, you can observe here. You can use it. You can show the differences between the code. Okay, what are the conflicts? It will show it like that. Uh, you can use it, guys. So I have saved that code, and uh, you can add it to index. And now I'm trying to commit and push my code. Now, where we can solve the match conflict. I hope you guys understand. Okay. And thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe my channel.